An epilogue. When you've been to the mind or behavioral hospital, same thing, every little occurrence is stimulating and you simply don't mind doing your work in the lobby of a nice hotel from 4 to 6 in the morning and you can drink the regular coffee till it runs out with no repercussions. At least there seem to be no obvious repercussions. I know there are repercussions to every gesture. You just very diligently work to inspire good repercussions. And you do that by being good, for yourself if need be. Also, it's good to maintain the appearance, illusion, of nice eccentricity and not the reality or fussy reality of make that two weeks outside the joint with no plans to go back in. But you know life and love work in mysterious ways. I will say that having your Bible on the table in the lobby keeps most anyone but the most unavoidable people away. It's not my intention to be mean, but those darn converters give faith and love a bad name. At least a name most decent people, who don't aim to convert or, God forbid, change another, avoid like the plague. People with mental histories may be in the same boat. Believe me, I didn't say that. I avoid them too. I may not avoid the next one. We'll see. After this manner, therefore, pray to your Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And after this manner, pray to your earthly mother. Our mother, which art upon earth, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done in us as it is in thee. As thou sendest every day thy angels, send them to us also. Forgive us our sins as we atone all our sins against thee. And lead us not to ten into sickness, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the earth, the body, and the health. Amen. From Edmund Bordeaux Slezeski. The Essene Gospel of Peace, translated from Aramic manuscripts, which are in the secret archives of the Vatican. I discovered this little book among many of the priceless relics at a warehouse in Columbia, South Carolina, after most of the writing of this journal had been completed. Issue 6, we never did. Province 19. Annie's flyer for her first and only art show so far, May 13th. Province 19 was too small to read for most people. Annie's Fish, I think it means faith, and some artwork done after this was completed. All right, guys, thanks for listening.